Hey yo team, what is good? You already know who it is, and if you don't, well, it'll at least say my name right down there. See, I'm not like the rappers who say you already know who it is, because sometimes I don't know who it is, and it doesn't always say on the radio who's featured in the song, you know? Anyway, that has nothing to do with this video. I'm gonna be answering some of your comments and questions, or possibly math equations, because you guys leave me a few of those at the end of this video, so you gotta stick around. Four-year-old Radhika Manlohi from India recently underwent two separate 90-minute surgeries to remove approximately 80 maggots and a blowfly from her ear. According to reports the four-year-old was complaining about discomfort and itching in her ear, but it wasn't until she started crying in excruciating pain that her parents decided to take her to the hospital. Upon being checked out, well, doctors realized what the real issue was and had to act fast. So it turns out a blowfly, which is attracted to bad smells, found its way into poor little Radhika and started laying eggs. Thankfully, the doctors successfully performed the procedures and were able to save her life. It's believed that if she was admitted into the hospital about a week later, the maggots would have eventually made their way to her brain and, well, started eating, which would eventually kill her. Well, thankfully, I'm here to tell you she's going to be okay. Dr. Raj Kumar Mundra, one of the doctors at the hospital Radhika was admitted at, said, I was very shocked to see so many eggs. This type of bug is attracted to foul smells and extremely unhygienic conditions. It's evident this family lives in unhygienic conditions, which has seen the young girl suffer as a consequence. It's a very sad state of affairs. And as the ears and nose are areas most vulnerable and open, they entered and laid eggs. We've had previous cases where they've had two or three eggs, but this is the first time we've seen anyone with such a huge amount. Now the surgery itself, for whatever reason, required that the maggots actually be killed while still inside her ear. Now, not too much information was released about the surgery, but reports are saying that in the first operation, about 70 of the maggots were removed, and in the second operation, the rest were taken out. Dr. Mundra also claimed the worms could cause severe nerve damage to the ear if there was any excessive movement. Radhika also had an MRI done to ensure that none of the maggots did enter her brain, which thankfully they did not, but she will remain in hospital for the next few weeks under doctor surveillance. The maggots did, however, partially caused some damage to both her skin and bone, and reports believe that they had been in her for longer than a week. Dr. Mundra went on record to say, I believe by the amount of worms in her ears, she had been suffering for longer than a week. It's evident the problem had been growing for a long time, but her parents had been negligent. We'll look into further treatment in time. Fortunately, no worms were found in the brain, but if she had been left untreated for another week, the worms could have entered the brain, and this could have been life-threatening. There is a paper-thin bone between the brain and the ears, which the worms can easily enter. These worms could easily eat a human brain if they get inside. Any discharge of fluid in the ear should not be ignored as it could attract larva, which reproduces quickly. The ears and nose are close to the brain and need proper hygiene. So thankfully it looks like Radhika is going to be okay and should any other news from this story come out, we will be the first ones to let you guys know. And now, as always, I'm going to answer some of your comments from a previous video. If you want your comment possibly featured in a future video that we do, all you got to do is drop us a comment down below on any of our videos or alternatively you could tweet us at Inform Overload on Twitter or leave us a comment on any of our Instagram posts at Inform Overload. So in the video we did about the guy filming himself beating the crap out of a clown, Caleb Jasmine said, congrats on 800k. Referring to our 800,000 subscriber mark. Thanks so much Caleb. The goal obviously is to keep growing bigger and bigger. Next up is a million. I guess 900,000 first. But you gotta subscribe so we can hit that mark. Louis Solorio said Donald Trump is a clown though. What do you think? And Neko's for Life said what's the difference between the US Prez candidates and clowns? Well you guys are right. They are pretty big clowns but uh, I think the biggest difference is if someone saw them walking down the street and tried to attack them. Uh, it wouldn't end as well as it has for the guys that have been attacking these clowns. Again, I still don't think the video is real. Maybe it is. Let me know your thoughts in that video by dropping a comment there. But to close us out, Nico Cias said, hey Jared, do you work out? Well, Nico, I actually don't. I probably should. And I keep telling myself I'm going to, but I don't. But being active is very important, guys. So you got to make sure you get outside at least 30 minutes a day. God knows I don't. Anyways, that is it for this video. I'll see you guys soon.